Hey everyone, it's Getting Crafty 101. This is a um, resin review for Candy Cupcake 11. This is the first review I've ever done, so I hope I do well. Um, these are some pieces that she sent me in a buddy package, and she's going to do a review for me too. So let's just get started. Start with this piece. It's a necklace. It's oval. It's got lots of glitter on the front and the back. And the edges are real smooth. She did a good job sanding. And, was, and I asked her, you know, I saw her online last night, and I asked her after looking at these pieces to, if she dumps resin on the backs of all her pieces, and she says she does. And you can tell. I mean, it looks, it looks real smooth. It's great. Great backing. And the eye screws in real good. And it's a cute purple necklace. So I think it looks real good. And then the next thing she made, um, she using the same glitter and stuff, she made a keychain. And it's in there real good. These are big eye screws. I don't have any. Well, you sent me a couple, but those are the only ones I have this big. But I think I'll buy some now. So it seems to work real well. It's in there good. And again, it's the heart. That's the thickness. And this is the back. And again, she domed resin on the back. You can tell it's real smooth. No rough edges at all. Looks great. <laughs> and then uh, she posted this on the Facebook um, Christ of All Traits that Yunkin Zeon runs. And I just loved it there. And she sent it to me. And it looks great. The one thing I was wondering is it looks like you worked the mold in reverse because these edges are um, rounded. So it's like this is what most people would use as the front. I think she used that as the back, which is cool. Because see how the glitter has settled to the bottom? So I think she did this layer first and then put the sticker on top and then and put the... Um, micro marbles in and domed resin on top of it. It's very pretty. And the edges look good. It's on this necklace. Everything's real clean looking. And then this one. Um, this I guess you put where you could make it into a magnet. And this one's adorable. Um, the only thing with this one was there's a bubble. And it's just right in the wrong spot. <laughs> it's right there. So she really couldn't put a gem there without making it look furtherly perverted. But I can tell why it did that. This sticker, it looks like it puffs up on the legs. And so it's lower in between the legs. And that's where the bubble got trapped. <laughs> But it's kind of comical because of where it's at. But anyways, um, yeah. That was the only thing. Everything else looks uh, great on it. And again, she domed the resin. You can tell on the back where she poured resin on it. It looks really good. Smooth edges. And then to my favorite piece, which I showed y'all last night, but I'm going to show it again is she made this jewelry box and hold on let me put it on right there you go you see it lays flat and it has um this edging on it so it will sit secure so it won't just fall off like once you get, get it on there you know it won't wiggle around can you see that Let's see so that's cool And again, it looks like she poured this and then put the stickers in and domed the resin on and uh, put the micro marbles. I'm curious as to how she kept the mar micro marbles from running off unless she just taped the edges. It looks really, really good. Can you see that? And then it came with this piece in it. Now this, the um, bell came unglued. So I just have all I have to do is glue that right back on. You can see where it was here, but um, that's no big deal at all. 
but the edges are smooth. Everything's it's been sanded well. And the, like I said, the resin's been domed on top. Looks very, very good. And here is the bottom of the dish. And there's the bottom bottom. It's very clean looking, you know. It really doesn't look homemade. It looks more like it was manufactured, to be honest with you. Um, the glitter, I'm, I'm impressed with that none of it, it looks like it stayed distributed it very good in, in throughout the mold. Like there's not a spot that has it more than another spot type thing. So it looks really good that way. I'm not sure if, how you did that if you just put like tons of glitter. If the litter, glitter was real light, I guess the lighter glitter would, would do that better. The heavier glitters probably would have sunk to here. I'm taking this as the bottom of the mold. That's the top. I'm, I'm guessing I haven't seen the mold. But it looks really good. I love it. So everything looks great. And she had it all in this little cute little um, organza bag. So everything was packaged good. So everything looks awesome. Alright, bye guys.